it's so important for people to hear the story of doctors like yourself essentially turning their back on what we call, you know, traditional allopathic medicine and embracing functional medicine, which a lot of regular mainstream doctors have a huge problem with for some reason. I mean, there, I, I, I know the reason, but uh, there's like websites and doctors that just always come out slandering and, you know, putting down these functional medicine doctors. And what they don't realize is that it's actually the functional medicine doctors, patients who are getting better. And what the other thing they don't realize is that when they get better, the doctor doesn't make more money off that patient. So what is the incentive? The worst to, business model. It's the worst business medicine. model, especially when you start to teach people about vitamins and minerals and movement and all these holistic practices and all these, you know, uh, evidence-based holistic practices and they start to use it and they start to use, they get vitamin D in their life. They get magnesium in their life. They start getting sunshine. They start embracing better relationships and you go and they go, wow, this actually worked better for my mood than that SSRI I was on for five years. And yeah. then they stop taking the SSRI and the doctor sees them less and what does the doctor do? He doesn't have a patient anymore. Well, he finds another patient to help. And the doctors that are, you know, again, the mainstream allopathic medicine doctors, they have a, they, they, they have a huge problem with this. And, uh, and every time I talk to a functional medicine doctor, I, it's always a very similar thread where it comes out of, you were the one that was suffering at first. You experienced the need for medical treatment. And so the me search turns into research, which turns into the practice of helping others. I hundred percent agree. Um, I mean, you, I don't think you could have said it better. Um, I, you, know, when patients start with me, I warn them like, Hey, we might be doing a lot in the next six months or in the next year. But if you get this done now, you won't need to spend $58,000 a year on Biogen's newest Alzheimer drug right mm -hmm. down the road. Um, so you're going to have a little bit more up front in the beginning, but the way I know my patients are doing well is I don't hear from them. And I've had a number of people that have reached out over the uh, last two months since I put, put out my book that were like, oh, I saw your book. Want to let you know I'm doing great. Like, and this is people from five, six years ago. And, but obviously that was not good for my business, but it, I mean, that's the, the goal, right? I mean, I, I don't, I've always tried to practice honesty in my practice being straightforward. I don't like to sell things or et cetera. It's basically like, let's figure out what's going on, fix it and move on and like, enjoy your life and forget about me.